Hey y'all, time for another video. Today on Pinky Pink Wednesday, what we're gonna do is debox this beautiful new Laguna Blue. I know, Laguna Blue, but she's pink. We'll get into that. I can't wait to share her with y'all, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna get on in close up here. Look at the box. I love this part where it says Monster High and it's raised. I kept that off of one of the other ones I deboxed. I think it was Draculaura. Love that. Here is her cute little box art where it says Laguna Blue. I love her little fish, Neptuna. And then over here where it's all hollow and pointing up to Neptuna, super, super cute. On the side, it has the Monster High graphic with the skullette. And then on this side, it has all the little sticker illustrations that have to do with Laguna herself. And then here is the back of the box with the cute little box art. She looks so shy and cute. And then all her little buddies are over here by the locker, super cute. So back to the beginning, what we're gonna do is do all the cutting off screen and then come back to you when she's all deboxed jail. Here she is all out of her box jail. Yay! Now I'm going to start with Neptuna because she's just so cute and she's just so pink. She is so adorable. Look at her. Now her eyes are a little pixelated where they did the screening, but I don't mind. She's so cute. Look at all the details. <gasps> I love that. I love the fin that it's kind of see-through-y. She looks like a great big pink goldfish. I love these fancy fin goldfish like this. I used to have a tank full of them. So love, love, love. She is so super cute, y'all. Loving this pet. I think this one is my favorite so far. And then let's just see about her cute pinky pink shell backpack. These are like close to, not quite because I like more pastelis, but close to my favorite colors, the teal and the pink, pinky pink. Now this one, see, unlike my Draculaura one that I kind of broke but didn't, this one comes open pretty easy. You do have to squeeze it pretty hard, but this one seems like it's better. I guess because maybe the little bat things on the Draculaura one were sticking out, it's hard to pinch it in that area where it wants to open. That is super cute. Love that it has the opening where you can put stuff in. Now, I do love this. I love all the molded details. Detail, but I just might give it a little extra detail and paint mine, especially on the front here because there's all these little raised things and cute things. And I think I want to accent that. Love it as it is, but I think I'm going to paint mine just to make it that much more cute. And then we have her cute little extra swimsuit that pays homage to her OG, G1, whatever you want to say self. Super, super cute. Love this. Love the little detailing of the like little scales and the ruffles. Look at how tiny these little ruffles are and this like orangey color. So, so cute. Nice thin Velcro on the back and the pattern goes all the way around and the little tie at the neck. Super cute. Here are her little sunglasses. Probably my least favorite detail out of all the stuff she's got, but still cute. Love the powdery blue and that you can see through them. I appreciate that so you can still see the eyes. Love the little wave pattern and the little scales there on the side of the glasses. These are definitely cute. Now this I love. The little kelp crisps. How can you stand it? Look at this. This is so adorable. There's even like detailing on the back, like maybe it has a label to tell you how much calories and all that stuff. Uh adorable. So cute. Love, love, love this. And then here is her little water bottle and look, the lid actually comes off. Can you stand it? That is such a cute detail. It's super cute and I wanted to show y'all that the top of it has like a little tail fin. How adorbs. Okay, this I love. It's supposed to look like goldfish crackers and it even has like the detailing on the side like again with like the calorie count and stuff like that. The back and the side are plain but I do love that it has the little detail there where you can hook it around her finger so that she can actually hold it. It is hollow down on the inside but I do still love this little accessory. And now here is her little Laguna Blue Aquaphone, whatever you want to call it. Super, super cute. Love the detailing on the back that it matches the backpack and it has that shell like waffle design. So, so cute. And that it has the little holder where she can hold it. And I love that the actual screen has like detailing on it. Super, super cute. A little pixelated, but I can deal with that. You know, it's supposed to be a cell phone for a doll, so it's pretty small. Love the pink though. Okay, now let's just get on into pretty Laguna. I'm going to do her hair first because she does have a pretty bad case of box hair. It's pretty matted. See how flat and stuck it is. I do like the coloring, but I'm going to pause here, brush it out and then come back to you when that's done. Okay, we're back. Movie magic for y'all, but it took me about, 
I'd say five or so minutes to get her hair in this condition. I brushed these little curls in the front and tried to get them back like a curly state. And then I had to fix because once you brush, these kind of got like wonky and stuff, but I fixed it. Now here's her ponytail after I brushed it and it did lose some hair, not a lot, nothing to complain about, just the standard, what you would expect, but she did have a lot of hang strings, so I did trim those. Now it is a little foofy and I did use my smoothing serum. So this is with my smoothing serum and it's still this fluffy. I've heard a lot of people say that the quality of these new G3s, a lot of the hair isn't as nice. This isn't the best, it isn't the worst. It is like already fuzzy and kind of frizzy on the end. You can see there how fuzzy it is, but I'll give it a treatment, see what I can do with it to make it nicer. I do enjoy that it has these extra colors underneath. This tone here, this purpley tone, I love. I love the teal, but this purpley, I love all the like iridescence of it and just the tone of it is really pretty. Love, love, love that. Since we're so up close and talking about her hair, she has this little hair dini thing and then she has these little barrettes, which are cute. And then she has her hair tied off here in another set of little clear rubber bands for these little front pieces, which is kind of cute. I don't mind this hairstyle. I like a good high pony because I love the 50s look and that's kind of what this is. I don't know how I feel about it with her look to be honest, but I don't hate it. I don't know. I think maybe she would do better with a different hairstyle. I'm not sure. For me and my purposes as a collector, like how I would want her hair to be styled, I think maybe some curls or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out though. So I've been going from head to toe. So let's just do that. Let's look at her cute little shoes. They say monster monster on them. Aren't they adorable? I love these. This usually isn't my like style. I really, really love these for some reason. I love the little fin and this is rubbery, so it should come off and on easily, I think. Yeah looks like it would and I love the two-tone because these are kind of my colors but like I said I like the more pastel -y versions of them but I love these still I love that her ombre on her legs goes from like pink to like almost clear you know blue to clear now she does and I've seen a lot of people say yeah see mine has some defects but everybody that I've seen review her says that this is like this on the legs so there's really nothing you could do about it that it comes off the painting that they've done I guess that is to be expected mine is isn't so so bad and at least it's on the back there like I might be able to touch that up with some paint who knows I'm not so mad at it and the leg fins I love the leg fins nope I think I had said something about that where I hauled her that I wondered if these were removable because all the ones from like G1 and G2 that I thrifted these were all missing because they came out I'm pulling as hard as I can on that and getting a grip and it doesn't want to come out so yay I'm glad about that let me see if I can get the shoe off without bumping my setup here Let's see yeah, that comes off pretty easy. I told y'all I do the wiggle jiggle. I do it with every doll so we can look at her foot. Love the little foot that it's almost clear. That is so adorable. I know that's a simple thing and most people would be like, that's really not a thing. But to me, I like it. So see there, the wiggle jiggle and get the shoe back on. Since we were down at her feet and talking about her legs, there is her articulation. And I do like that they actually knew that that would probably come off. So they just left it, so that it wouldn't scrape where the knee bends there. That is a nice detail. And look at her cute little shorts, loving the tie dye, but that it looks kind of like watery. And then this, the little ruffle, on the side kind of looks like fins now this I can tell mine at the top there I don't know how well you can see that is kind of already fraying a little you no know, because this isn't hem it's just kind of heat sealed so I am going to fix that I'm gonna heat seal that again myself but the little bottoms of the little shorts are hemmed that I enjoy and let's see yeah they do have a closure at the back. I wasn't sure if they were just bungee at the top or if they had the little Velcro, which they do. Since we're up close and looking at her shorts and all the bodies are new, I did want to take a look at her cute little new body shape. I love the little underwear look like they have spider webs on them. That's so cute. Look at that. Adorbs. And I love her little body shape that it's a little thicker than the, you know, G1s. I do love the G1s and the G2s. I will always love those. But I love that they did try and do different Different things on these new G3s. Since we looked at her shorts, we're just gonna go on up from there and look at her little fanny pack. Anyone who's watched my channel for longer than a minute knows these are not my favorite. Fanny pack, bum bag, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, that's adorable. Look at the little detail there where it looks like it's like 
been bitten by a shark or something. How adorable with the little teeth on the front. You know, fanny packs, bum bags, whatever you call them from wherever you're from, they're not my favorite, but this is kind of cute. And I love that they took the time to have the details where it like goes with her, the little teeth, like the piranha teeth and the little bite out of there. Super, super cute. Now her top being pink, pinky, pinky pinkness with the little skeleton seahorse is adorable. I love the little netting on the arms and then the black cuffs and then it has the little stripe down center of the little shirt there. It looks super, super cute, kind of like sporty and whatnot. Now it has the Velcro in the back on the little top. And it does have the little hood here with the little rainbow cute fin things on top. Now I have seen people put it on her head, which I'm not gonna do, so I know that it fits and I can tell y'all that it will fit around her head and that her hair comes out this little back hole, which is absolutely adorable. I love the little scallop detail that they put on it. Now it's hard to see, but she does have like a little white pearly necklace, which I think is just appropriate and very, very cute. It does have some detailing on it, which I do appreciate for as small as it is. Now we did the knee. I showed you that, but she also has the side, side, back and forth articulation on her legs. Since I said we were going from the bottom up and she has the shoulder, the 360 around and the elbow joint as well. And the wristy joint, which I love. I've heard other people say that these feel solid. Mine feel solid too and nice, not flimsy at all the joints all feel nice and she has this upper body new joint that I love so you can make her you know do like cute things for picture purposes like you know just all of this extra stuff I love the neck the up down side side that making them expressive but having this extra top joint like look at that I can spin her like she's looking at stuff oh gosh I love that guys really really love that like I talked about it a little with Draculaura but I didn't really get into it because I was just gushing over how pink she was and how cute she was but you know with Laguna I've noticed it more and I really do love that so I probably will be trying to take more pictures with these new G3s because of that extra joint because I just think it's so cool you can be so expressive with them loving it since we're going from the bottom up let's look at her earrings and her cute little ears. Oh, I love her ears. I love when they do details like this on them. That's just gets me as a collector. I love having like a theme followed through and that they actually tried. Super cute, the fishbone earring here. And then on this side, they just have like a little blue pearl. Super, super cute. Again, I'm loving these little pinky ears. So adorbs. Look at this face, y'all. Oh, just look at that. Oh my goodness. The detail on her with the little freckling, which anyone who has watched my channel for longer than a minute knows that I love the freckling on the dolls. She is no exception. So, so cute. Love the little smattering across the nose and everything. Love her like peachy, pinky salmon lip color. Love that. I love this detail here. I don't know how well my camera is picking it up, but there is a silvery eyeliner there that just catches the light. Look at that on her eyes. Super beautiful detail. Love the way her eyebrows are done, that you can see like little hairs in them. Love the way they painted her eyes, kind of like hazily with the brown and the green. Love the eye shines, those are cute. Really, really love her. Really, really pretty girl. Now, I had talked about this, that some of the ones that had this little dotting on the forehead, it wasn't done very well, and it was kind of like messed up in a way, like just screen printed weird. Now hers, I think, look really, really good. That was one of the reasons I picked this one, because she had the nice hair here. She had the nice smattering of dots on her forehead and she had a really pretty face. That is why I picked this one out of all the ones they had because they had a lot to choose from. This is my cute Laguna and I love her pinky pinkness. So for me as a collector, in my opinion, I love her. I would have to give her I'd say like a 9.5 and that's pretty high. I don't think I've given anything a 10 yet. I'm not sure. Can't remember. I've done a lot of reviews, but simply because she does have the defect on her leg there in the paint, how the hair kind of is not so great quality, kind of fuzzy, and I'm going to have to mess with it. Other than that, there's no negatives that I can really think of other than the few little defects and stuff. Well, the stand, that is the thing. I really wish they would give us stands with these dolls. She would have had a stand and she would have been like a 9.8 honestly, because the stand would just put me over the top. I think they deserve a stand. It's almost $30, you know, $25, just about anywhere you go. I think they deserve a stand. How many times can I say they need a stand? But if you're out there listening, Mattel, they need a stand. 
take away like a couple like I could have done without the fanny pack and the glasses. Give me a stand. That's all I'm saying. Because they deserve them because I want to put them on display. And I've already spent $25 on this. And now I'm going to have to put extra money in if I want her to stand up and not fall over by buying a stand. That's all I'm saying. That's just me and my opinion. I'm sure there are other collectors out there that would prefer having a stand as well. But that's just how I feel. So favorite accessory is Neptuna. I love her. Love, love, love her little pinky pinkness. She's so, so cute. Fishy, fishy. <laughs> So cute, pink fishy. Love this. Love, love, love. Most of the stuff I love, like I said, the only things that I wasn't so crazy about were the like fanny pack and the sunglasses. Everything else I loved. I'm saying to you, if you're out there and you're on the fence, I would say that she's a definite buy. She's really, really pretty. Joints are sturdy, really cute face, lovely accessories. So I would say pick her up. If you're on the fence, go check them out in the stores. They always look different to your collector eye when you're looking at them in real life than they do like on videos and in pictures. And that's what happened to me. That's why I ended up getting her because I wasn't gonna get her. And then when I saw her in real life, I knew I had to have her. So with all that said, I have to thank you for being with me and for watching because I love sharing with y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy and safe, having a great, great, great dolly day and that all the good things that are in this life that can come to you, I really, truly Truly hope that they will. I have to say, great big, huge, huge, huge Pinky Pink Wednesday subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. Our numbers just keep going up. You guys just keep being so fabulous, so wonderful, and so sweet and kind to me. I cannot say enough how much that means to me and how much I really do thank you for all your kindness and sweetness. I really, really do thank you so super much from the bottom of my heart, y'all. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. I do everything here in my power to give you a fun dolly time, a safe dolly space, fun tutorials, makeovers, thrift hauls, anything you can think of, what's new videos to keep you current, telling you about sales, anything I can do to help and make you have a great dolly day and a fun dolly time. So come along, join us, become part of our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built because we would love to have you and absolutely everyone is always welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through this pinky pink Wednesday with beautiful new Laguna Blue in pink. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna say. Bye, y'all.